Good evening. In this video, together we will take a look at the unfortunate events that occurred tonight regarding Damian Harris in the Bills-Giants game. My name is Dr. Stephen Wilson, and the purpose of this channel is to break down the causes of sports injuries. On the replay here, we can see Damian Harris has possession of the football and is then met with contact by the New York Giants defense. The contact itself does not present as anything significant, and visually it does not really raise any alarm bells here initially. You can see how Harris's helmet does make contact multiple times here with, new, with, with numerous other helmets before he is taken to the ground. It is likely that it is uh, one of these impacts or even a combination of these forceful impacts that caused Harris to sustain his injury. When we can see Harris laying on the turf, wringing his hands, he's in obvious discomfort. Whether or not this was a pain response or simply due to an abnormal or atypical feeling in his hands, at this point we, we don't know and further on here as we watch, it probably does not really matter. The Buffalo Bills training staff are quick to respond and then place Harris's cervical spine in what is called a C-clamp position, which is the standard response for a cervical spine injury. At the hospital, Harris will be receiving medical attention that will be checking for any type of cervical spine fracture. A fracture must be investigated first, as any structural compromise to his spine must be ruled out first. At this time, I am not aware of any positive findings of any fractures, and hopefully that doesn't change. If we proceed here with the path of thinking that there is not a fracture, then the next consideration is the spinal cord itself. With Harris receiving multiple helmet-to-helmet -helmet contacts, this does place a force onto his neck and head and forces his neck backwards somewhat into a position of what's called extension. When your neck or any part of your spine is bending backwards into extension, the functional circumference of your spinal canal inevitably will actually decrease. When that occurs, there will be added pressure to your spinal cord because your spinal cord runs up and down within your spinal canal and rests in a gentle bath of cerebral spinal fluid. Any sudden shock or bruising or pressure to your spinal cord causes a condition known as a cervical cord neuropraxia. This can be officially defined as a, a transient neurological deficit following trauma localized to your cervical spinal cord and can be caused by extension, flexion, or spinal loading mechanisms. If you cross your legs while you've been watching the football game tonight and your foot, so to speak, goes to sleep and you get that weird and uncomfortable and awkward feeling of pins and needles and maybe a bit of burning, that's basically the same concept, only a much, much lesser form. Typically, once you relieve and release the pressure off of the nerve in your leg by uncrossing your legs, your symptoms will lessen and then resolve. Hopefully this is the same outcome for Damian Harris as ideally his symptoms will also resolve sooner rather than later.